What is good boys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Quackers TV with me QTV himself emphasis on the QT because I am one as you can see we are getting straight into the thick of it boys and girls Three games to go before that transfer deadline I know we all love a new signing we all love a shiny new toy but bear with me We've got a fight through three more plebeians standing in our way before we can get there. But believe me, it will be worth. Very miss, sweet. It will be worth it when we do. Peterborough, as you can see, though, we've got our tails up, but they came for us. They were sending, and it took a huge tackle from Premier League winning left back Christian Fuchs, signed by yours truly, to stop a surefire goal. But Tyrese Campbell finds Andrea. Zebra Fitch, the boy from Nani and Heath. Many claim he's Serbian. I claim, isn't everyone a little bit? Andrea Zebra Fitch, the great British citizen himself. We hoofed up the pitch, he made the run, and we bag the goal. Working and getting results off the hard, hard work of foreign citizens, there doesn't come much more British than that. That isn't English. It's British. Big Carl though whips it into Harry Suter, finds Tyrese whose finish is lacking more than your father last night. There's a reason one pulled me up. Tyrese Campbell though rounds his man. Deserved. He has to learn a lesson the hard way. Harry Suter finds Tyrese, and this is why we give people tough love. They learn from their mistakes and they make the simple possible. Harry Suter with the finish, Tyrese Campbell with the beautiful tramp across goal. Nothing too extravagant by this fancy down there, but the end result it feels just like a triple A mill, but a little bit. With Pinky in the middle, I'm very unfortunate for the, the defender. It was a little bit of bullying. <laughs> and Big Carl himself bags for the boys. That is free now. Free already. We are starting quick. It's not even the 70th minute yet. And we're about to make it a four. There's a reason, boys and girls. You put a six foot seven strike centre back brother up top, and it's because he can do things like that. Stooping down low, to be fair to the big man, but he gets the finish in the end. And Peterborough, they didn't give up. Big Moisa to Brown. Fancy bit of footwork, but you got to learn. It's the championship. It's England's finest league. Fancy footwork ain't gonna cut it. You know what will though. You know what will? Whatever the hell happened to the ball here? Wait for the close-up. Just wait for the close-up. EA, I get it's in the game. I didn't know fucked geometry was in the game. Life is pain! I hate my- Not quite sure if we're using a rugby ball or football, but it does end up in yet. With half of your team being grade a dog water, can we expect any new signings? I mean, my nan could do better than Adam the Sheep Shaggy Davy. That's a good question. First of all, respect to calling out Adam the Sheep Shaggy Davy because he is one of these absolutely useless toss spot. I may have a sign in, signed, sealed, and delivered, as they say, but you know, I'm going to keep that one close to the chest, you know. All I will give you a clue about. As an expert in playing with youth, I've got a real eye for talent. Believe me when I say this, the signing I am going to make, the historical second generation superstar I'm going to bring in, he will change the game. I promise you. Boys and girls, you heard what the boss said. There will be a new signing revealed in the next episode. 
But for now, Tyrese the Fancy Dan Campbell, 16 goals in just half a season. Eve and Tony, are you watching? Because you're going to be put in the fetal position soon. Your record is going to be smashed. It's going to be remade again, and then it's going to be smashed again. Stoke up next against the Barn Door Barnsleys. The Terriers themselves. You just got to feel bad for them to be honest because they are coming up against a Stoke side at the absolute pinnacle of their game. Sam hasn't got a clue, Cass, with the beautiful cross into Andre Zebrafitch, the great British citizen himself. Emigrated over from Belgrade into England and he has not looked back since. If you didn't know what Andre Zebrafitch was from part of them Belgrade's Academy, so that is actually factually correct. So it's like out with your mothers. It's a beautiful volley. I'll let you see the two replays because I think it's a goal that should have been admired. But for now, game ain't done. We gotta keep pushing. Bond, Danny. Here's the thing. You're gonna notice something. The ref just pointed to the spot. We're gonna do another zooming because you know yes. <laughs> EA, it's in the game. You know what else is in the game, apparently? Crooked refereeing. Just wait to see the absolute leg breaker Danny Bath commits. That's not a good angle. This is the angle. I feel sorry for the Barnsley players' future children. Corley Ridgewell, I can only apologise for this horrific... Fatality. <laughs> We have me, the greatest penalty saver in FIFA history. I am undefeated in penalty shootouts. This will not end soon. Rabbi Matondo, you think it's all over? It is now. They get the first ball, but you gotta deal with the seconds. You gotta be like a fat kid at lunchtime. You gotta get up there for the seconds because if you don't, Tyrese. The fancy Dan Campbell will feast. Knocks it down. Uh, that's a lot of damage. How about a little more? You are about to experience about my full power. A little bit further. Rabbi Matondo. Church is in session and the ball is in the net. The Terriers, they have been utterly, utterly neutered so far. And the worst thing is, it's not even over yet. There's four. You know what, I reckon I won five. The Terriers didn't want to be greedy, they didn't want dessert, but you know what? Sip. Yeah, I think I'm into some pudding. Rabbi Matondo speeds past Telic again, leaves Kitchen in the kitchen, and leaves Walton on the floor, makes it six. Barnsley exit promptly down the back door. Seven now, oh no. Tyrese tapping it under the keeper, making him wipe out his own man for seven. And boys and girls, Sam Vokes, to wrap it all up. Because you know what they say, boys and girls? That is all. Sam. That's all, folks. As you can see, we finally put Barnes out of their misery. We finally stopped at eight. But Andre Zebrafitch, four in his last three, but he wants more. Preston North End up next, and we are planning to stuff their heads firmly up their North End come this game. Weird story, but I've always related this club to Berries, and I have no idea why. A huge tackle from Carl, the big Brazilian. Has... I can't tell you how proud I am of the lad. He's just embedded seamlessly into the club's culture. It's just... It could bring a tear to a grown man's eye. Look at the tackle. He's a Brazilian known for his samba, known for his silky footwork, and now known for getting stuck firmly in like a fat boy during Christmas pudding. Scott Sinclair though finds Sean McGuire but nope. thankfully Adam Davis for me. Why you being a dickhead for? Stop being a dickhead. Thankfully Adam Davis as usual is a huge liability. 
because the, it's going to make the decision when I have to sell him or release him or just all around get rid of him and take him off the face of the earth it's going to make it very very easy indeed but for now Preston keep pushing on they got a bit of momentum what can they do with it not much to be honest because Sean Maguire is a bottle drop waste man we're looking good Preston they're looking in shambles we find Carl who can only find the deflection Ravi Matondo though looking to build some pressure spins his man finds the zebra pitch and he can only find the hand of the Preston goalkeeper so we go in drawing one all at the half can we make the difference <laughs> With pathetic Olympic shots like that, we cannot. Here comes Sam Vokes, so finds the rabbi, and yet again he teaches the boys about crosses because he lets the ball come across his body, spins in behind, and just delicately, delicately with the most beautiful of touches, places it into the bottom left. That is 2 1. We are feeling awfully awfully good about ourselves now boys and girls it is 2-1 80 minutes in the clock so sean dowerty the new boy at left back so finds the gap he leaves the preston defenders back in his dust the run continues boys we are heading into january we are going to be chasing down Sheffield United. I'll tell you this now, we are 15 points off second place. 15! But lads, where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a rabbi, there's a Matondo. And where there's a ball, there's a net for him to place it. Unfortunately, boys and girls, rabbi couldn't put that in. And also, unfortunately, that is the end of the place boys and girls i can only hope you enjoyed it i can also only hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much for giving me a little bit of your time i hope you'll come back next time peace